So I wanted to put this little guide together just to help people that are using Zoom as part of their remote teaching support, but also actually as a security option for many people just to think about. It's a way to just ensure that people can't bomb your Zoom rooms, which I've seen is happening quite a bit. And Zoom has always had the security features. It's just not always knowing where they are. So I thought I'd just take a moment to just go through some of the things to just secure your Zoom rooms just to stop people being able to jump into them. Now to do this you need to go to Zoom on the web because you'll be able to access all of the settings within that. So I've already logged in with my account and um, you know, obviously here you can go through your whole profile etc and set things up individually. I'm going to go down to the settings tab though and the first thing you'll see in here is the security options. And there are a lot of security options in here that you really should consider using. You'll see in mine, I've, I've pretty much switched everything on. And this is really going to help you keep your Zoom rooms really, really well maintained and safe from anyone jumping in who probably shouldn't be in there. Because obviously if we share our meeting passcodes with the students, they could share that with somebody else and you might get people joining your classes that shouldn't be in your classes, um, especially if they are from another organisation, if they're just you know other users that aren't anything connected to your institution. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the waiting room options. Now you can just simply switch the waiting room on. Highly recommend that you use this. It just means that people will have a place to go. Um, and what's nice here is that you can actually create a customized waiting room. Um, and a good friend of mine um, has created a video on this and you can check him out if you if you look in the description. I've, I've put a link into his video about creating his own customized waiting room. Um, really, really nice idea. Um, always have your, your passcode switched on. Um, ideally, we shouldn't be using our personal meeting rooms. Um, it's a good idea to create um, a, a meeting, so schedule a meeting for this, um, but you know, having those things turned on. And then the key one for me is this one here, only authenticated users can join the meetings. Now for this, what you can have when you switch this on is you'll get the option, um, which looks a little bit like this, to create an authentication profile and to add in the domain name of the people that you want to be able to access that room. So you're creating a configuration profile. Now you can put in multiple domain names here. I would suggest that you just put in the domain for your school, your institution. And yes, although other people from different courses might potentially be able to jump into my room, they're still in our institution. So it's gonna be an easier way to be able to find them. When you then go into scheduling your meeting, you'll get the familiar options to schedule your meeting, but you'll also get the additional option to choose who can be in that class. So if I turn on only authenticated users can join, I can change this option to that of the USW users in my case, which means only students with this domain would be able to enter my room. Now there are obviously other settings on here that you can play with, um, enable joining before host probably is one that you're not going to want them to have because they'll be in the room and, and you're not in the room. So again, just, just little things to just go through. So again, Zoom has an awful lot of settings to really make sure that your class is, is really, really secure, that other people aren't going to be able to get into it. And I highly recommend that you use these settings just to make sure that everything is nice and safe when you're doing your remote teaching and learning. So hopefully that's useful. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If not, happy teaching.